everyone, I'm Carol Brewer from Northern California, and this is Noon Live Prayer, noon in the central United States, and I'm in Sacramento area in Northern California. It's 10 a.m., a little bit after 10 a.m. here. So grateful to be with you again. Thanks for joining me. Always a precious time together uh, to pray, to draw into God's presence, and I love hearing your comments as well, and, and knowing that, that um, you're there with me as we're praying, drawing into God's throne room. And he bids us welcome, doesn't he? Isn't that just amazing to think that that the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the God of creation, the God of the universe, the God of the minute molecules, uh, just is there for us and, and bids us welcome to draw into his presence. A relational God. And my prayer for all of us is that we have a good, close, personal relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And so thank you so much for joining me today. So many praise reports I know from our Connect meetings and the Christian Women in Media Association had the meetings last night, the gatherings. And so I look forward to going on to the Swim a Facebook page where I am now and, and seeing the reports of others and all of the praises. And then we also have our members page, so there will be reports there. And then if you're watching, um, a member of my group, Bible Chicks with Carol, on that Facebook page, you can watch there as well. So just grateful that you could join me today. So God bless you. As we draw into God's presence, I wanted to share with you a wonderful scripture from Luke 11, 11 through 13. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? How much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? So that is what we, that's our promise, is that we have the Holy Spirit that comforts us, equips us, gives us wisdom when we really need it, which is all for me all the time. And so how grateful we are. So we're going to again pray in five segments and the first one being adoration where we just praise you lord we praise you for who you are um you are capable of all things father god all things it's amazing to think about it isn't it and so we humbly embrace this truth and that your ways are higher than our ways and in these tumultuous times that we're in we know god that you are in control of all so we adore you we praise you we we just give you all honor glory and praise for who you are and so we thank you this day you are el shaddai god almighty god all sufficient can we all say that god all sufficient and you are in charge of every minute detail of my life your life and the entire universe so we praise you father for who you are and for your great love for us thank you lord that we have those promises and that we do have through your son this close relationship that bridges the gap you are our heavenly father but our your son jesus allows us to call you father to inter and he intercedes for us and so that's why we pray between saying Jesus and Father because you are all in one, three, the triune God and Holy Spirit. You are three persons, but in one. And so as we call upon your name, Father, Jesus, Holy Spirit, we are speaking to the same God. Isn't that amazing how wonderful that is to know? And so this time we do confess I confess I have bad attitudes. Anybody else wanting to throw something at your TV screen or something? Any? Yes, I have those attitudes. I have fears and I have actions that could hurt others, even when I don't even realize it. Just something I might say or it's amazing how that happens. And I'm truly sorry, Lord, and my lack of confidence, even though your Holy Spirit dwells in me. For this, I'm sorry for not spending more time in your presence to intercede for others and myself. Yes, Lord, there are times when I slack off, I lack. I don't spend time, I might be doing something else, busyness, and not taking time to stop and pray. 
and I internalize messages coming from other sources than from you. I confess that. And that I worry about things that are out of my control. I confess that too. And that I have put pleasing people above pleasing you, God. I confess I'm sorry for that. And I have played back in my mind over and over again the memories of past hurts and I've focused on those memories and not you. That would me to be me today actually thinking about past memories. How about you? Are you focusing on the past or just kind of regretting? You know, and I think sometimes we think about the past and the past you might be thinking, boy, it was even better than it was. And but it was something familiar and we miss the familiar. So we just confess that now. And that we grieve for better days uh, in the past and we doubt maybe our future. So those are shortcomings. Those are sin because we're not fully trusting in God. And so I confess those for myself and perhaps you're feeling the same way about some of the things that I think about where I fall short of God's glory. So in the sidebar or down below, you have an opportunity to express um, a prayer request, a praise report, how we love those. And you know, uh, just putting your little hand signal up if it's an unspoken prayer, please let us know how I can and our, our sisters in Christ at Christian Women in Media, let us know how we can pray for you because we're here for you. That is the most important part. Our association is grounded and rooted in prayer. I would say my ministry as well as Carol Brew Ministries. So I would just ask you to please, um, even if it's not there on the, actually where you're actually typing something on there, thank you so much for joining with me. And please keep some of these prayer requests in your on your prayer list as well throughout the week. So thank you for that. Scripture, Philip, Philippians 4, 6, right? Such an important scripture. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Oh, yes. Okay, so are you with me on that? Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition. Okay, so let's take that to heart today, everyone, and, and get rid of that anxiety that is not from the Lord. Okay, I, I'm in agreement with that. So I'm glad you're agreeing with me too. Do I see a nod? I hope so. So our humble re requests for ourselves, these are where we ask personally for ourselves. And I would say that with Christian Women in Media, we all have projects. We're all working on something. Social networking that I'm on right now, the media, well, Christian Women in Media, right? We're in media. And if you're watching this on Bible Chicks with Carol, you're in media too because you're watching on social media, social networking. So you are a part of media as well. So we have so many prayers, our projects, our podcasts, the movies we're working on. Sue Ellen Roberts, we pray for the movie that she is working on right now and for her team and crew and all those who are in production. We pray for the finances for all of our projects, Lord, that we're able to manage and be wise about spending and not just fall into there's so many tugs and pulls of where we can invest in our ministries and, and the things that we're working on and help us to be wise about which uh, service or which person to bring alongside to work with us that is such an important prayer request for all of us and for those who are on television, television programs, Lisa Burkhart Worley, as she's in production, has been for her pop chat, pop uh, TV show, so and for her, all her team. So we pray for that. We pray for Candy Rose right now, who um, has not been her in her best health, and with so many things, her wonderful ministry and her television production and programs. Lord, I just ask for an extra portion of peace and health for Candy so she can continue on this wonderful path you've set her on. So Lord, we trust you for that. I pray for a dear, sweet member 
of ours that has been so faithful over the years, and that is Becky Baker in um, Texas. God, she is um, suffering from a disease, and God, we just pray and pray for a supernatural healing, a miraculous healing, for great comfort for her family, her husband, her children, her grandchildren, God, as she goes through this devastating disease. So, Lord, please bless Becky. Watch over her. We know her heart. It's this precious heart. So, God, please don't let her have any pain. Let her be in free of that. And so, if you know Becky, and even if you don't, I would just ask you to please keep her in prayer right now. And that's my, my fervent prayer for Becky. We all want wisdom in communicating and interacting and building relationships with family. We pray for our pre-Christian loved ones. Those who we are trusting will come to you. We are just looking forward to that perfect day when they might come to our doorstep or say, guess what? I became a Christian. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be? So we just pray for those who are dear loved ones who we want so desperately to know you, God, in a personal way and turn their lives around and make decisions based on, on you, God. This is our prayer for our the ones we love so much. Help us to be healthy, uh, all of us, so that we can move forward, that we have the energy and the strength to do our projects well and create messages that will and narratives that will point others to you will bring others to repentance and salvation. There's nothing more beautiful than that. Repenting sounds like, you know, like you're giving up, but it just means we're just turning, turning around, turning from the negative, turning from the bad stuff, and turning towards the beautiful light of Jesus. Can we turn to his light? That is our heart's desire as we turn. So help us, Lord, each day to reaffirm our confidence and trust in you, knowing that the victory is yours. Again, we pray for family and friends. We pray for our churches, that they thrive and people will come. And instead of congregations thinning out, that they will grow. For schools, our schools, oh God, how our hearts ache for our schools. Lord, I just pray that you're presence be each one in each one of those classrooms whether it's preschool elementary school junior high school high school college junior college college universities charter schools homeschooling whatever that looks like lord be in the center of the minds that want to grow and want to learn lord just be there and we thank you for that we thank you for our co-workers. Watch over them and protect them, Lord, and help us to be a light as we in the workplace, wherever we are. Help us to shine your light and to reflect your love and to demonstrate that we are for whoever we are around, not against them, that we are for them, no matter the disagreements, no matter how much uh, opposite we may seem. Lord, help us supernaturally to demonstrate that we are for them because you, God, are for them, those who, who we have a hard time with. You are for them. And so help us to be your hands and feet that demonstrate that to others. For government officials, how we pray, oh God, for their seeking your face, for their repentance also turning away from the norm or the culture changes or whatever that looks like or or what people think and turning to you and asking you what do you think god and then acting upon it with their creating bills and voting um in committees or wherever they are lord in, a, in wherever they are assembling as our representatives of our government. Lord, please ask, work through them. Let them ask you, let them stop and seek you and then act upon your Holy Spirit that tells them, that 
that convicts them that this is the way they should go. Amen. For famous people, the influence that they have because they have platforms. And so we ask again, God, that they would recognize that the platform is a strong influence and that they would seek to be a positive influence in the lives of others and not negative, not turning them away from you, God, but but doing having a moral compass in all of the the what they do on social networking and what they do um, wherever they are, Lord, in speeches or 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 whatever, that it be about you, that you be the behind their thoughts and their speeches or whatever they're proclaiming. So God, we just help us to be for all of those people that have platforms, and we pray that they use their platforms well for our world leaders for our world leaders, for unity um, in the world, for the betterment of all people, that decisions be made not just for greed and power, but that decisions be made for the betterment of our world, sincerely based on accurate science, based on um, what sociologists say, based on the, the truth, but most of all what your word tells us what our need is. Our need is for you, God, to worship you, to glorify your name. That is what we are hoping for our world because we see that when an area changes and, and seeks to follow you, God, that the world changes around them. So this is what we ask. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. Psalm 116.1, I love the Lord because he hears my prayers and answers them. So we can trust you, God, that you do hear our prayers. So thank you, Lord, for that. The Lord promises that we will flourish both in our relationship with him and our relationship with one another when we seek him. So thank you for knowing that our relationship can grow, our relationship with others, the difference that we can make, that we are, as we live in this world, as we live this life, you've placed us here, God, for a specific reason and that is to glorify you and to move with you and not get stuck so we ask that we are flexible to move at your leading and we thank you for um, that leading and, and help us to keep our hearts open and for our minds and hearts open so we can be just open to your Holy Spirit each day and throughout the day acknowledge your presence in our lives so we thank you, Lord, that you are in control of our streets, our neighborhoods, our city, our state, our country, our world circumstances. Thank you that you are in control. Thank you for your provision of salvation and daily needs. Thank you for that. Thank you for this coming weekend we have an opportunity to serve and rest, whatever that looks like. And knowing that this presentation or this this prayer time presentation is a prayer time isn't it with a time together that i'm with with you and you're with me today and it's going to be also archived throughout the weekend and aren't we grateful for that so even when this live part is over it's going to be archived there so please continue to put your prayer requests as you pray with me over the weekend i just love seeing your responses and Thanks for letting me know. So we praise you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. We praise you for your Holy Word that just illuminates our mind, both working together as we read your Word, the Holy Spirit illuminating our mind to the truth. Thank you for this past week that you've given us, difficult or easy, and all for your greater purpose and glory. We praise you that we can look ahead to eternity. You are the way. You are the truth. And you, God, are the life. Thank you that you have made the ultimate sacrifice for mankind and for me, for each of us. 2,000 years ago, that terrible day that we call Good Friday, that terrible day you allowed the Roman soldiers, you allowed the 
Sanhedrin to convict you and, and, and sacrifice you to a terrible death so that you could prove that you are God through your resurrection on the third day. You are alive. Praise God, you are alive. The tomb of the Holy Sepulchre and the garden tomb in Jerusalem are both empty. It's one or the other, and I've been in both, and you are not there. You are sitting at the right hand of God, your Father, and you are alive. And you are alive with us through your Holy Spirit. We praise you for that. So we praise you that we can choose to believe that, believe you and, and know you in a close personal way, how we praise you and how we gratefully choose the life that you've given us in you. Thank you for hearing my heart today and fulfilling all of our needs today. And all God's women and men, if you're watching too, we all said amen to that and amen. So we just say as we close today that all glory and honor is yours, almighty God, forever and ever. We choose to walk every day in newness of life with you. So God bless you. Thank you for joining me today as we prayed. I look forward to seeing you on Fridays at 10 a.m. Pacific, noon Central. And it is Noon Life Prayer. And it's on the Christian Women in Media Facebook page. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you'll Sharon Hill also leads prayer, as well as Marina McLean, two of our other SWIMA members. Yes, we say SWIMA, <laughs> C-W-I-M-A dot org. That is our association. And thank you so much for joining me on Bible Chicks with Carol as well. It's a blessing to be with you. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.